Hi, I am Adam. This RDM Byte will give you an introduction to data management plans, or DMPs, and which tools are commonly used to create them. It will also explain how DMP templates will help you write your DMP and where you can find these. At the end of this RDM Byte, you should be able to understand what data management plans are, identify the most common DMP writing tools, understand how templates can help you write DMPs, and find the right template for your DMP. So what is a data management plan? A data management plan is a document that clearly states how your data will be managed during and after your research project. For example, it will state what types of data will be collected, how data will be stored and shared, and who is responsible for managing it. Writing a comprehensive DMP ensures that best practices are built into your research process and that things like data sharing are not just considered at the end of the project. DMPs are also a way of making your research more fair, which stands for findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And DMPs are recommended for all research projects. And some funders and institutions have made them mandatory. So why use a DMP template? Different institutions and funders have preferred styles for the DMP content and format. The main benefit to using a DMP template is that if you address all the items using the prompts, you can be reasonably confident that your institution or funder will have the information they need in the format they require. The prompts will ask you about all aspects of data management, likely including some you hadn't considered. While this might feel frustrating at first, everyone is keen to get started collecting data as soon as they can, You'll be glad you considered these in the future when you're already prepared for managing the data. Three commonly used tools for writing DMPs are DMP Online, DMP Tool, more commonly used in the US, and Data Stewardship Wizard. Depending on your institution, you might be required to use a specific one of these tools, or you may be able to choose. So where can you find DMP templates? These three commonly used tools all include some functionality for DMP templates. So this is a good place to start. In DMP Online, when you create a plan from scratch, you have the option of selecting your funder, highlighted by a box on the left screenshot. Your plan will now automatically follow the selected funder's template. After you click Create Plan, you can select multiple sources of guidance to show in the sidebar. For example, you could also choose to show your institution's guidance. This is highlighted on the center screenshot. The screenshot on the right shows how DMP template guidance is displayed while you write your DMP. Alternatively, you can start by finding your funder's template on the funder requirements page and create a DMP directly from there using that template by clicking create a new plan. The relevant column is highlighted by a box on the left screenshot. This page may be labeled as DMP templates if your institution has its own version of DMP online. An example of this is given in the right screenshot. The procedure for creating a DMP from scratch in DMP tool is almost identical to the one I just showed from DMP online. The page for public templates shown on the left here is also very similar, as you can see. Both of these tools also have a page dedicated to examples of real DMPs that other users have made publicly available, shown here on the right. While these may be useful, just be aware that they're not vetted for quality, completeness, or adherence to funder guidelines. Data Stewardship Wizard, DSW, takes a slightly different approach due to its aim of promoting fair data management and the value that this provides to the project overall. Rather than directly using funder templates, DSW uses knowledge models. While knowledge models are similar to templates, they focus on asking all the important questions for your data management and provide guidance, advice, and tips. This helps to promote fair data management without the researcher needing to be an expert themselves. You can still submit your DMP in the format your institution or funder requires through the use of document templates. A document template basically takes the relevant subset of questions from the knowledge model you've already completed and creates a DMP from this in the preferred format. 
There are several templates online, or you can create your own. Institutions themselves are also good sources of DMP templates. And the best way to ensure you're following uh, your funder or institution's guidance is to get the DMP template directly from them. Two examples of institutional web pages are shown here. For funders templates, while many of the most common ones are integrated into the tools, if you can't find the specific one you need, you should then check your funders web pages. You can also visit the page shown here for further information and a collection of funder DMP templates. I previously explained how DMPs are a tool for making your data more fair. However, there are ongoing developments in making DMPs themselves fair. One way to do this is by creating a machine actionable DMP. By writing your DMP following an MA DMP standard, it's easier to be read and processed by software tools as well as humans. And finally, another more advanced method for making DMPs fair is by linking them with fair implementation profiles.